All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, episode 23 of Beyond the Dark Portal by Aaron Rosenberg and Christy Golden. Including this one, there's five chapters and an epilogue left. So that's cool. Let's go. Poor oh, lads. Drellian looked up, relieved to see that the dark shape in the air was not yet another dragon. It was Kurdran. Ah, I'm glad to see you all. Those green beasts captured me, they did. Nearly didn't make it. Well, I'm glad you escaped. Nay, rescued I was, and healed up right proper. The lad Danath sprung me, stormed their great ruin, found himself a strange-looking friend there that could teach even ye a thing or two about healing with the light. Good thing he did too, because uh, I wasn't at my best. Trellian looked at his friend with admiration. Kurdran had basically just admitted he was at death's door, despite the fact that likely wounded his pride quite a bit. Unfortunately, Nizul got away. Him and his pet Death Knight cast a spell that sent him straight to the Black Temple. We couldn't they stop him. Don't worry. I'm sure you did your best. I'm just glad you're okay. Drellian then stroked his chin and considered Kurdran's report. The Black Temple. Sounds ominous. What do we know about it? Nay much. But this fella can take us to it. Drellian then raised an eyebrow as a bird bloke walked up. This is Grizzik. He led Danath into Arkandun. I can tell you a Black Temple. I know what and where. Is this... Is this your benefactor? The one who healed you? Nay, nay. That was a Draenei. It's complicated. Then what are you? I, Arakawa. We're born of this world. Long have Arakawa kept to ourselves. Still have we to do with orcs and Draenei. Then orcs rose up, banded together, formed Horde, slaughtered Draenei. Arkandun was a Draenei burial city. And Black Temple? That's theirs as well. Though it was not called that then. Draenei made last stand there. But orcs have sorcerer. Gul'dan. He very strong. He alter earth itself. Raised great volcano. Gul'dan, eh? Khadgar then pulled the skull out of his little bag. Here's all that's left of him. He won't be causing any more trouble. Grizzik's eyes then widened. You slew Gul'dan? No. Someone else got to him first. But we destroyed the Horde's power. Broke one of its major strongholds. Now we just need to reach the Black Temple, find Nazul, and kill him. I can show you way. Drellian then glanced at Kurdran again, who just kind of shrugged. It was subtle, but the unspoken conversation was basically, can we trust him? With Kurdran responding, I don't know. But they didn't really have much choice. Thank you, Grizzik. We welcome the help. We'll draw up a rough map tonight based on Grizzik's information. Tomorrow I'd like you to head back to Danath, Kurdran. We'll decide where to meet up for the final assault. Aye. That's a fine plan. Now, what's a dwarf got to do to get some ale and food around here? Several days later, Torellian's group had head back to Hellfire Peninsula, and Grizzik had then led them southeast to a region known as Shadow Moon Valley, at which point they'd reunited with Danith and the rest of the Alliance army. And they'd not been idle. They'd already begun building yet another fort. Kurdran's idea. He felt we'd need a place where we could keep an eye on things. It struck us both as a good vantage point. Torellian nodded. Twas indeed a good vantage point. From here, they could see all the way across the valley. Twas a strange place. A giant volcano, probably the one that Grizzik had mentioned, stood at the centre, with lava flowing from it, obviously. But the lava was green. Fell magic. The purest I've ever seen. I don't even want to know what sort of spells Gul'dan worked to cause this. It's a violation of nature itself. No wonder this world is dying. Gagar then turned to Kurdran and frowned. Keep your people as far away from it as possible. Don't enter the valley any more than necessary. All right. We've already scouted anyway. Gudrun then pulled out a sketched map. The Black Temple is there, at the far east end. There's no easy way out from it either. Any sign of Nazul? Aye, he's there. And those Death Knights as well. Plus some Orcs, but not many. We've got them pinned. They'll maybe be going anywhere. Good. Now we just need to get over there ourselves. Kaga, you're the key here. We need you to take out Nazul and stop his spell. Illyria, you and your rangers protect him from long-range attacks. Shoot down anything that even looks his way. I'll be right beside him to take care of anything close by. We smash through their defences, kill Nazul, grab the artefacts, and get the hell out. Agreed? Absolutely. The rest of the group nodded as well, so that was settled. Drellian then said a quick prayer and called down the light's protection upon each of his companions, and then they were off. The Alliance charged across the valley, leaving only a handful of peeps to guard the camp. They raced around the volcano, and soon enough, the Black Temple was in sight. It was enormous. 
carved of some stone that had perhaps once been vibrant and bright, but was now covered in ash. However, as Torellian took in the sights, the ground beneath them started to rock, and lightning shattered the skies with a sudden loud boom. What's going on? Nazul, he's begun his spell. Can we still stop him? I can. Just get me there in time. Torellian raised his hammer and summoned his faith, doing his glowy light bulb thing, to which the Alliance soldiers cheered, as they always do, and the Alliance commander then charged. He was shining so bright that the orcs within the temple grounds were blinded by his approach, making it pretty easy for him to smash through a whole bunch of them, right up until an important character stepped out into his path. Your little light does not frighten me. Gorfin then lifted the strange weapon he held, which started to glow with its own multicoloured light, and Duralian could sense that whatever this energy was, it was attempting to overpower his. The holy light is all that you are not, monster. If you don't fear it, then embrace it. Duralian fired off a burst of light, like a missile, which struck the Death Knight, and that achieved absolutely nothing. So the Death Knight then took his turn, raising his truncheon and shooting some kind of shadow from it. The darkness engulfed Duralian, smothering his light and his limbs, and it felt absolutely awful. And as he fell to the ground, gasping for air, his mind raced with imposter syndrome thoughts about how shit he was as a leader. How he'd led his men to their doom. How he should be absolutely ashamed of himself. He'd let everyone down. Khadgar, Danath, Kurdran, Illyria. As her name popped into the paladin's head, his attitude started to change. He'd led the soldiers the best way he'd known how. Sure he wasn't Anduin Lothar. Only Lothar could be Lothar. He was Turalyon, and the light was with him. So he took a shallow breath and started to pray. The dark tendrils around him started to melt away, retreating from the pure white radiance he was now emanating. And then he smashed his hammer right into Gorfin's face. However, again, the attack barely achieved anything. You cannot win. I'm already dead. What is the worst you could do to me? The same old bullshit I always do. Drellian then lunged towards Gorfin, summoning his faith and glowing for the millionth time, channeled said light into his hammer, brought that hammer down as hard as he possibly could, and cleaved clean through his target, causing Gorfin's dead flesh to collapse Obi-Wan style into a soggy, stinky heap on the floor. But a horrific wailing then filled the air, with a jagged, shrieking wisp twisting out of the body, and although the paladin tried to swing his hammer once more, he was a fraction too late, and tearing Gorfin's soul buggered off into the sky. What was all that about? Trillian, come on! Illyria's sudden command startled Turalyon somewhat, but then he remembered they were actually in a bit of a hurry. So he pressed forward. Gorfiend had been the last remaining barrier between them and the temple itself. So now they could go inside and end this 